Hi, my name is Kelvin Meme. I'm a second year endocrine fellow at the University of Chicago Medicine. I want to thank the JACS team for including our work in their video series. We have nothing to disclose. The 2015 ATA guideline recommends the use of thyroid lobectomy for localized papillary thyroid cancer in adults. However, in children, the guideline recommends the use of total thyroidectomy with possible post-operative radioactive iodine treatment for almost all children presenting with PTC. These guidelines for children are based mostly on retrospective data or expert opinion from a single institution, and that means they are prone to selection or referral pattern bias. There is inadequate evidence to really support the use of total thyroidectomy in children when they present with localized papillary, localized papillary thyroid cancer. So our research question was in a matched cohort of children with localized papillary thyroid cancer. So the extent of thyroidectomy, that is total versus thyroid lobectomy, affected their survival. So we looked at the NCDB and the CR database. We excluded patients that have nodal or distal metastasis, or those who have two more less than one centimeter, or two more greater than four centimeter, or those with incomplete um, documentation. We then split the patient based on the type of surgery they received into a total or thyroid lobectomy. We then performed a propensity score matching, matching the patients one to one based on age, sex, race, ethnicity, tumor size, or extraterritorial extension. With this, we then had a balanced cohort for upon which we performed a survival analysis. It's an example of the CR database before matching and after matching. You can see the variables here for age. You can see there's a difference before matching and after matching, it was the same. Same was for tumor size and for, for extraterritorial extension. So what do we find on our analysis? We found no difference in the overall survival between patients who received total thyroidectomy compared to those who received thyroid lobectomy in both this NCDB and CR database. We performed a subgroup analysis for patients who did not receive radioactive iodine. We found the same thing. There was no difference in overall survival between patients who received total thyroidectomy and those who received thyroid lobectomy. The same thing was also found for disease-specific survival. So in summary, in a match cohort of children presenting with localized papillary thyroid cancer, we found no significant difference in overall or disease-specific survival, regardless of the extent of thyroidectomy that they received or the use of radioactive iodine. So, our findings suggest that thyroid lobectomy alone may be an adequate surgical treatment for children presenting with localized papillary thyroid cancer. Thank you for listening.